So hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and uh, today I would like to tell you about another topic about China and that's something that um, I really uh, wanted to, to address for a long time. So in China you have no house, in China you have no house. The only thing that you have are villas, you know, villas, villas. In Chinese you will say Biesu, you know, Biesu is villa. And um, this really makes me frustrated and a little bit angry, you know, because as you can see around me, I will show you, this to me is a house, this is a house, this is a house, this is a house, and then I will show you what is a villa. There is a huge difference between a villa and a house, and the difference is um, about the size. Look at this one. You see this one? This is a house, 89. As you can see, it's really small. This is only this, only this space. Maybe this house is maybe um, 50 square meter or 80 square meter. So you have very small housing and the villa is much bigger. Villa it will be maybe 500 square meter, 600 square meter or more. And there is a huge difference between the two. Uh, this is getting closer to a villa maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, this is definitively maybe a villa, what they call a villa. And um, this is something that uh, makes me angry because I've heard uh, quite often um, when I was, this is to me, this is a villa. You see, this is a villa and it's not a house. So, the, And in China, there is no house. The only thing that they have are villas. So either you have places like this for the very wealthy and the very wealthy in China, they are able to live in a nice place with a nice surrounding. Either you have to live in these 30 floor buildings that are really ugly and uh, are not built well with small window. Uh, the, the ceiling will be very low, it will be uh, the windows, there are very few windows. And it's not a nice environment, it's not a nice place to live. But you don't have the choice. Either you are wealthy enough to pay for a villa, either you're wealthy enough to pay for something that will be uh, 800 square meter, 500 square meter, either you you don't have so much income, then you need to leave, you have to leave inside this huge ugly building, 30 floors building. And why is it like this? So I quite often I ask the question in my videos, why does it have to be like this? And my answer, the only answer I can find, some Chinese people told me, yes, you know, but in China we have so many people and therefore um, it's a waste of space and it's a waste of land. If you don't build, if you build housing, if you don't, if you build villas everywhere, it will waste the space. But I don't think so. Honestly, I don't think so. Look at this house here. Look at this one. You see? This is what I call a small house. You have many, many small houses and I will show you how it looks like. Uh, in a, in I think down the street here, this is more like a villa, a modern villa on the left here. But you have many small houses and this small house, I think in China, they, they could do the same. You know, you can, you can build a small house that will be 50 square meter on two floor. And uh, or maybe uh, you can it's very small, very small housing, and it's not so high, and it's, it's it's really small, and it's suitable for people. You don't need a you don't don't need someone to take care of the garden. You don't need someone to to clean the house for you. You can live uh, with your with two people or with three people in this place, and uh, you don't waste the space. You don't waste the space if you do this. You see, look at this one. Kind of small, you know, and you have much smaller housing here. This is a more like a villa here. So you you have all kind of of housing, housing villas. This is not the same. And I think all Chinese people uh, could live in small housing, but. Of course, they have to complain about this. Chinese people have to stand up for themselves and say something about it. And um, personally, when I'm in China, I'm always angry at all this and I always try to speak to many people, as many people as I can. And I wonder how Chinese people will go abroad, they feel. And I met so many Chinese people, they tell me, I want to live abroad, I want to leave China, I want to live in France, I want to live... Yeah, but why don't you ask your government to change the things? Why, why do you accept that they build this kind of ugly 30 floor buildings? You have many places mm, that can be modern and nice. And uh, I think the, 
the local administration, the real estate companies, the architect, the modern architects, they don't need to build places like this. They don't need to build huge villas, you know, for wealthy people and ugly 30 floor buildings. What they can do is they can build some small housing that are only 50 square meters or 70 square meters on two floors, you see, and you have many, many such housing in, the, in many places. If you travel to Germany, if you travel to many European countries, you will see this kind of small housing and you don't waste any space. The garden is very small, the housing are, are near each other and Sometimes you have two families in one same small housing with a very small garden. I don't think you waste any space. And this, of course, would be much better than building 30 floor buildings that are half empty because most of these buildings are empty, especially in the, in the suburb areas. So they build these new cities, so-called new cities, that are almost empty. And everybody knows perfectly that these cities will stay like this, they will stay empty or there will be like 50% people coming there and half of the space will be empty. So this is something this, it has to change. It has to change for the environment, it has to change for the living environment of people. You know, you need to build some place that are, that are nice, that look nice and when you live inside you feel good, you know. I don't think um, 20 years from now uh, Chinese people will feel good and living in these 30 floors building. I don't think so. No, because we experience the same things in France. And now uh, all these places that they build 30 floor building and all these, these are uh, ghettos, so-called ghettos. So uh, poor people live there and um, it's really nice, not a nice environment, I can tell you. And now, just to finish, I just would like to show you some of these housing I was talking about. I showed you some that are really small. And you will see here, because this part of the city used to be, uh, you know, the city was divided. So part of the city is where, where you had more wealthier people. And part of the peace city is where you had um, maybe uh, people who didn't have as much money. And just uh, they are working in uh, just the normal worker, you know. So I would like to try and go a little bit faster and show you. You see, these, these, these to me are house, but big house already, you know. These are big house, not villas, but big house. And I, I'm looking for small house because you can, you can have some very small house that are really nice. And this kind of apartment building are really nice, you know. And even without any garden or with a very small garden, this is very nice. And I don't think there is too much waste of space, you know. Look at this house on the left, as you can see. Oh, this one is still quite big, but it's only on two floor. And uh, see, so you have this kind of house. It's quite small. It's only two floor, you know. And this one, 97. You see the number 97? This is what I'm talking about. So you can have this kind of housing. Very small garden in front. Just a very small house like this, maybe two floor. It's okay, you know, it's much better than any 30 floor building and it, you don't waste any space. You don't waste any space. This is not a villa, you know. This is also the same here. You have a, you have a similar, this one is bigger. But, uh, this is more like, you see, one, two, three, three floor. So you have three people living there. And still it's nice. Maybe and they have the parking. No. Anyway, I think there is really, um, no limit to the profit, no limit to the money. At some point, the Chinese government should say something and say, come on, you know, we cannot destroy everything. We need to think about our people. We need to think about the living environment, the living condition, not only think about economic growth and 30 floor buildings and, and things like this, because it's, it's, when you live there, it's really not nice. Of course, if you have, if, if you never, um, if you don't know anything better, then you will feel good. If you don't know anything better, then you will feel good. But uh, if, I, I, if, if you have been abroad and if you have studied abroad or if you have uh, uh, traveled a little bit abroad, then, then you know how it is abroad, you know, and you know how, how it should be in China, you know. So this is <laughs> what I tell you today. And of course, it's kind of a rant and I'm sorry for this. <laughs> but... Um, you know, the hem of my videos, and I also hope through my videos that I can help uh, changing uh, the everyday environment, the things that I really dislike 
and that are on my everyday environment. Um, if I were living in France, I would probably do the same here in France. But since I'm living in China, <laughs> I'm discussing about my uh, environment here in China and and therefore I'm discussing about China. <laughs> so even I'm not Chinese because I'm just um, like any other man, I'm living there. So I try to take care of my community and I want to take care and to improve my community. And I do this for people who are there in China and who live the same as same life as me. They are in the same environment. They they grow. They encounter the same issues, the same problem. And um, I think uh, I'm talking to these people and telling them, look, this is what we have here, and this is what you could have, and what we could have. Therefore, I'm telling you. Um, we need to do something about this, we, you need to do something about this, and uh, it needs to change, you know. <laughs> so, I will leave you for now, take care, and see you next time. Take care, everyone.